Hello, I'm Julian Velasquez with Citation Customer Support. In this video, we plan to explain single engine climb performance calculated using CP Calc. Now let's imagine that you're planning to take off from a runway with obstacles on departure or one that has a minimum climb gradient requirement. Do you know if the aircraft can clear those obstacles safely or stay above the climb gradient if an engine failed during takeoff? This is a question that multi-engine pilots need to ask themselves when planning a departure. The takeoff calculator in CP Calc can quickly provide an answer to that question. Let's take a look. After entering the specific takeoff conditions, you have the option to enter obstacles to clear or a minimum climb gradient. You will then be able to calculate your performance results. CP Calc will analyze all climb requirements, including those required for certification, and indicate which is the most limiting. Results will only display if the climb requirements can be met under the given conditions. When climb requirements are defined, CP Calc will calculate performance at thousands of points along the flight path to ensure that the aircraft will stay above the gradient plane. If it breaks that plane, a message will appear and you may be prompted to reduce to a specified takeoff weight, which will allow the aircraft to meet the climb requirements. iPad CP Calc and all but the earliest Windows CP Calc apps will also take advantage of the unused portion of the runway to reduce the effective climb requirement. The climb performance screen displayed in the results page will show the single engine net climb gradients. Net climb gradients are the gross climb gradients reduced by 0.8% during the takeoff phase and 1.1% during the en route phase. The single engine net climb gradients shown are only instantaneous values at a given altitude. They are not averages over the entire climb segment. Remember, climb gradients will gradually diminish due to thrust decrease as the airplane gains altitude. If the results page is displayed, the climb requirements have been met or exceeded. For calculations run without obstacle or climb gradient restrictions, the program assumes a single engine climb to a level off altitude defined in the aircraft's AFM. When obstacle clearance is requested, the program will maintain second segment configuration until the net takeoff flight path reaches a level off altitude or clears the obstacle by at least 35 feet, whichever is greater. When climbing above a minimum climb gradient, the second segment will be extended until the departure's level off altitude is reached. For the pilot, this means holding V2 with flaps takeoff until the obstacle is cleared or the level off altitude is reached. The pilot is expected to delay the en route segment transition until the obstacle is cleared or the level off altitude is reached in order for the performance calculated to be applicable. So, with a few inputs on CP Calc, we can quickly and accurately calculate the single engine net climb performance to know for sure if we can clear an obstacle or maintain a minimum climb gradient in the unlikely case of an engine failure during takeoff. Please contact Cessna Technical Publications at 316-517-5800 or email them at customercare@txtav.com. If you have technical issues or questions about the apps, please call our pilot services team at 316-517-7717 or email us at cesnav at txtav.com. We sincerely hope this video has been informative, and from everyone at Textron Aviation, safe travels.